Why hello, it's me Harley back again for yes another video and today I'm in my living room so please forgive the animal noises you hear in the background it's just that this room is the coolest room to be in and we're in the middle of a heat wave so you're just gonna have to make do with the animal noises you may hear the parrot squawking, you may hear the canaries tweeting you may hear the gerbils tap dancing because they like to do that sometimes but at the moment they're in bed so you may not have that privilege of hearing them tap dance on to the topic of the video so today i am going to be finding out what my blood type is because i do not know what it is at all it could be anything if you know me and you're a returning viewer thank you very much or if you are somebody who knows me in real life you all know that I am somebody who is really enthusiastic and loves learning about different cultures and everything involved with them from their history to their black practices to just their kind of like environment it shouldn't surprise you that I learnt about this and wanted to do it for myself so in Japan I know that they say certain personality traits can align with your blood type i'm gonna see how accurate mine is but obviously before i can read about what my personality and blood type personality is i need to find out what my blood type is in the first place so i've got a kit to do that right here i'm not going to beat around the bush i'm going to open it if it lets me open it thank you i'm going to read the instructions and find out oh oh god i'm dropping things Ooh, i'm guessing they're the needly pricky things alcohol swab i don't know what they are i suppose i'm gonna have to find out aha step one separate before however you pronounce that sticks so you separate it into four individual ones okay that's that done number two don't touch the coloured reagents with the pipette. Wait, that what? Seems to be missing a bit of information here, but I'm guessing they're like asking me to fill one of the pipettes with water. So I've got to go and get some water. I'll be back in a minute. No, sit. Stay, thingies. Stay. Okay, so I'm back from my water. Here it is. I don't know why I had to present it like that, but that's how I did it, so we're sticking with that. What? Ah, is this the reagent paper that they're talking about in here? It hasn't asked me to open it, but I'm guessing that's what they want me to do. How do I open it? <laughs> oh, well. How does one open this sachet thing? With difficulty. Oh, God managed to open part of it okay aha so this is the card that you have to use and then you get the pipette okay apply one drop of water directly onto the colored spots okay that's fine so i've got some water here so sorry if it's shaky i'm filming with one hand and doing it with the other so Come on. Ah, there we go. Oh, the fish are enjoying it in the background. That's what that prop was. Yeah, I think that worked. Did it? No, it didn't. It's a bit hard to tell when you're looking through the camera. Ah, there we go. That one definitely worked. Come on, Drippy McGee. Oh. Oh, I missed that entirely. There. Just let you back up. Yeah, can do. Oh my god, this is so hard. I'm using like <laughs> this is so hard to film. Be appreciative of it. Oh, I don't think it was meant to touch the paper of a pipette, but that was accidental. I did it though. It's got a drop. And then finally. Okay. So that's that done. Next bit. Take the lancet and twist off the colour tip. Okay. And twist the tip. How do you do that? Ah, like that. Okay. Pull off the safety lancet. Okay, I've done that. 
Wipe your finger. Ooh, okay. Swing your arm to get blood flow. Oh, that's a nice description. I've just been reading the next description while I'm wiping my finger. Stretch and puncture the soft skin at the side of your fingertip by pushing the lancet firmly against the skin. Okay. Okay, that's got that. Although, I don't tend to bleed for very long. And then you have to fill up these little cups. How do you fill them up? Well, there's nothing there. So, come on. Oh, this is one of the problems with me. I heal really fast. So although I've punctured myself, it's already... <laughs> oh my word. Don't drip. Drip right away. This is educational, YouTube, so don't... Oh my word. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Go drippy drippy. Not smeary smeary, drippy drippy. <laughs> I can't get myself to bleed. Now I know how my nurses feel when they have to have a blood test and they're constantly fighting to get it. Come on, that won't be enough. I've dried up. I've got a bit of blood that smeared itself over my finger. I think I've dried up. And that is by no means enough to even do one. Oh no, I haven't quite. I just had to really squeeze my finger. I gave them blood. Blood. Cannons of the stuff. And I think I've stopped. It's not even gallons of the stuff at this point, it's just, come on, just a little bit. Come on, finger. Oh yeah, that was, that's, I think about as good as we're going to get for this one. Who knew that putting a tiny bit of blood onto something was going to be so difficult? I gave them blood, blood. Gallons of the stuff I gave them all that they can drink and it will never be enough. <sighs> Is that going to be enough? I don't know. I've got to put it on here, let's see. Come on. Please bleed. Bleed. I think I'm going to have to use the other one and like stand myself again. Because this ain't working. I, like, it doesn't matter how much I swing. It's like, I have problems with blood tests as well. So, I know myself to be not only a slew bleeder. Oh, I managed to squeeze it a little bit more out. Come on. Come on, mate. You know you wanna. I really don't. You do. Stop lying. I'm gonna have to stand myself again. Yay! Come on. Yay! Is that this way? Those water droplets are gonna be dried out with how hot it is. Thank you. Aha! Oh, that was better. Where have they gone? Yeah. Where's the next one? Where's the other one gone? There's another one somewhere. Oh, it's just going to drip anyway, I think. As long as I get the blood onto the thingy, that's fine. Come on. For the sake of knowing where my blood type is. There we go. Yay. Now I'm now just painting with my own blood. I'm an artist. Okay, so one's definitely had a much weirder reaction than the other one. So, again, YouTube, this is educational. Oh, hello. So, please don't hate me for showing blood. I'm just trying to figure out which blood type I am. Oh my word, I don't know what this means at the moment. One's gone really spotty and kind of like splodgy. One of them's gone, doesn't seem to really have done anything at all. One of them's gone a little bit splodgy. So one definitely has some movement but so anti a that coagulated fast b didn't at all so i know i am not b and i'm not o and i'm not b negative b positive or b negative so i know i'm not b okay okay that's a start i'm finding a pen so i can actually eliminate this out so I can figure out what I am. Pen. Found a pen so I can eliminate what I am. 
so it's not you and not you definitely not it's not you because there's a weak coagulation on anti d i'd say yeah weak coagulation on d so i'm not a b negative i'm not a negative and i'm not o negative okay so i'm now down to three left so i'm either a positive o positive or a b positive let me see so i think i'm actually a positive yeah because that was a really strong reaction and if you look at this little guide that it gives you uh so that's the stronger reaction than that one and i had a really strong reaction so i'm thinking i'm a positive okay now i've got to look up what that actually means okay so i'm now absolutely certain i am a positive blood i'm looking at what a personalities are according to japanese like blood type personality test things here's one source in the japanese blood type personality chart people with blood type a are known to be highly organized depends on the situation with me actually no thinking about it i'd say i'm one of the more organized types i need to know what i'm doing in advance I don't like doing things completely spontaneously. I like a bit of spontaneous. Generally speaking, I plan way in ahead. For instance, I've just come back off holiday and I've had the holiday and everything booked since February and it's whatever the month before August is. <laughs> I still can't remember the order of the months because that's never stuck in my mind. I think it's July. Yeah, it's July. So. <laughs> I've just got back off holiday and I've had it booked since February and it's not just the holiday I've had booked, the hotel and the like airport transfers etc. It literally goes down to the itinerary we're having on which days of the holiday. So that makes sense, I do like being organised. I'm particularly precise, yes I'm OCD, I like to have my things exactly as planned so that makes sense and I pay much attention to details. Yep, yeah, again, I'm somebody who will definitely pick up on the smallest of things. <laughs> they are diplomatic. Um, I think that makes sense for me. And friendly in nature. So you won't have a hard time approaching them. That's something I do know I'm good at. I do know I am good at, like, interacting with people. And I can usually get people to open up to me quite fast. Yeah, I know I'm good at socialising in that respect. Please ignore my bloody finger. <laughs> I've tried to clean it up with a wet wipe with a wet wipe pad, dried out before I could, and I can't be bothered to go wash it quickly to then come back here to finish off this video. <laughs> they seek harmony among other people. They sometimes prefer to be alone because of their sensitive nature. Okay, so I definitely prefer harmony. I will avoid confrontation i mean sometimes it's inevitable and like i will deal with it but i'll try to put an end to it as soon as possible i am not a fighter i i am a defensive person if somebody attacks me i will protect myself but i am not gonna be the one who instigates like fights and stuff so that that makes sense i do prefer to be alone generally speaking people often think because i'm friendly to interact with I'm extroverted, but I consider myself very much introverted. So again, that makes sense. Actually, I'm surprised at how accurate this is being because of their sensitive nature. Now, my, I know my mum would disagree with this, but I don't consider myself very sensitive. I consider myself empathetic and I can empathise with things and like understand people quite well or animals quite well. However, I don't know if I would consider myself sensitive. This is where it's a bit funny with me. If somebody calls me names or is rude to me or horrible to me, generally I won't really care that much. It will, I'll be like, I'll make a mental note of it and go, yeah, I don't like you, but I'm not going to start a fight or anything. But if somebody does that to somebody I really care about and I'm loyal to, any close friend of mine or family member will know I'm fiercely loyal to the people who I care most about. There's not many people who I would literally get into a fight for, but for very few that there are. If somebody offends them 
or upsets them and targets them, that's when I will get protective and stuff over them. My mum says I'm sensitive. I wouldn't necessarily say I am. I'd say, although I have depression, I don't get upset very easily or angered very easily. It usually takes a lot to push me to get there. I don't know. That one I'm a bit iffy on, but my mum would say definitely. I'm not so certain. When conversing with people who belong to the A group, make them comfortable and be extra sensitive as the, they are known to be fragile hearted. Hmm, people don't need to be sensitive with me. As I said, I'm really hard to offend. I just let it wash over me, to be honest with you, because I've had so many names called at me over the years. Fragile hearted, I don't know. I suppose from past experiences, a long time ago, I have been really badly hurt by friends who have like doubled back and turned on me so i would have been in the past but i don't think i am anymore i think i've kind of like built up too many barriers to be considered fragile hearted now so i used to be but i'm not anymore is what i think they are anxious and get easily hurt kind of going back to what i said just then i used to be because i used to i've always thought treat other people the way you want to be treated and in the past people haven't always done that for me i think in the past that was very much the case now i'm not easy to get hurt which is why it takes time for them to open up to people okay that bit i agree with i will talk to anyone and everyone about just about anything like even my really poor mental health situations in other videos i've talked about one of the most traumatic times of my life which i'll leave a link to in like the video because why not I, that's an example of me being very open with people however it takes a long time for me to feel comfortable around someone so maybe open up about what i'm feeling isn't necessarily difficult for me opening up to them as a form of like connection yes now that's that takes a long time for me to form connections with somebody like a solid good strong one that's where it becomes difficult quite quite accurate so far if you want to be friends with them be patient and get to know them slowly yes okay wholeheartedly yes that is the case i never become best friends with somebody really fast i'm not somebody who like makes a friend really fast my friendships and stuff are very much things that have to develop over time i think a couple of my best friends because i have three best friends i think they would wholeheartedly go yes it wasn't instantaneous with us i'm now at a stage where you hurt them i will fight you <laughs> so yeah i'd actually say that's pretty accurate I'm going to look at a couple of other sites to see if there's anything else that pops up that I think is accurate or not so accurate. Generally speaking, I'm actually really surprised at how accurate that blood test personality thing is because I am a stubborn person and that's basically what partially it said. I'm stubborn and more introverted than you'd think is what I got from that. A bit confused by that in the sense like I'm surprised at how accurate it was. Blood type A. Creative? I can be when I want to be I think. Cooperative? I'd say generally as a rule of thumb yes. I won't follow somebody's instructions just because they say so or like they're of potentially a higher authority than me. If I think that it's going about the wrong way shall we say I will voice that. So I'd say Generally, as a rule of thumb, yeah, cooperative is me. Stubborn. Haha, <laughs> yes, I am stubborn. I am a stubborn person, I know that. Some people would say that's not a good thing. Hey, bit of being stubborn. As long as you know when you get to the point where you're just being stubborn for the sake of being stubborn, it's, it's a good thing. It, it, one of the benefits of being stubborn, I find, is you're not a pushover. I find that quite often people think I'm a pushover and will test their strength with me, see how far they can push me and I'm not one who puts up with much rubbish. I've dealt with far too much rubbish in my past, I am not a pushover. So stubborn, yeah, I I will stand my ground and my thing 
like other things i know it's not i know being stubborn isn't just that kind of thing but that's just an example that comes to mind for me uptight hmm i think i can be if there's a lack of organization <laughs> i don't mind having a situation where not everything is planned out but there needs to be a certain amount of like structure to what i'm doing for me to be happy i'd say that's pretty strangely accurate so um, on that note i'm gonna say i think that is surprisingly accurate i generally don't believe in these things but i think that summed me up pretty well now you know what my blood type is and i know what my blood type is and everybody who watches this video knows what it is <laughs> on that note i'm gonna say two little pit beans and see you in the next video